Russian rally urges Putin to strike U.S. with nuke-capable Satan II missile. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Okakwadas, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Honor to you, brothers, pushing out this truth all over the world, the hopeful elect. All right, so the tensions are getting tighter and tighter. You know, more threats are going in between these countries, these world superpowers. You know, right now on the forefront, Russia and America. All right, we understand that Russia um, is Gog and Magog. Okay, going back to Ezekiel 38. <clears throat> okay, and America is Babylon the Great, which is set up to be destroyed forever. All right, within one hour. Okay, now, um, this Satan 2 missile right here, man. All right, there's talks of it as being as powerful as the Sar, Sar Bamba. All right, of great destruction. Okay, so we're going to get into the article. I'm, I'm going to read quite a bit of it. Um, what's here, you know, all the way until, um, until read full story. And I'll put the link to this article in the description box. But, um, before I get into the article, you know, I wanted to bring out this scripture right here because, you know, the Lord has angels, all right, all over the world. All right. And what are they doing? They're holding back the four winds, the destruction, all right, to come. All right, that destroying wind. So let's get into it. Revelation 7 and 1. And after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind shall not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. Okay, and we're going to find out why these angels are holding back the four winds. Again, that destruction. You know, you have the angels out there, you know, they're working on the mines you know, of the of, of these modern day kings, you know, these presidents, the governors, you know, the princes, okay? Because there's a point in time, you know, and everything is going according to the script. You know, the Lord is not gonna unleash, you know, hell yet. You know, um you know, and I'm speaking about these nuclear missiles until, you know, you people here in America, all right, because you're watching the whole world suffer right now. All right. The Lord said he was going to punish the whole world for his evil. That's uh, Isaiah 13 and 11. All right. Because the whole world lieth in wickedness. That's why the whole world is being punished for his evil. But America, you Americans, OK, you're so used to seeing all these other countries suffer. All right. With poverty, you know, famine. All right. Pestilence. The Lord is saving the best for last. And it's, it's going to be real bad here. Remember, winter winter is here. All right. That dark winter. All right. That these these uh demons have been speaking about man i'm talking about those in office all right okay so again that destroying one is that nuclear blast all right revelation 7 and 2 and i saw another angel ascending from the east having a seal of the living power and he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea saying hurt not the earth neither the sea nor the trees do we have sealed the servants of our power in their foreheads, man? Because when them nuclear missiles hit, you know, everything is, is being done away with. You know, the, the trees, every, every goddamn, everything is going to be leveled, man. America is going to be, a, you know, a lake of fire. All right. That's the lake of fire that the scriptures are speaking about, man. It's not talking about a place under the ground. Those missiles are going to create a lake of fire because it's going to be multiple. Okay. 200 million missiles are going to rock america okay so it's saying hurt not the earth neither the sea nor the trees till we have sealed the servants of our power in their foreheads man that's the elect 144,000. going back to revelations 14 and pretty much the elect are already sealed through the spirit you know that's why there's you know all types of you know uh events happening all right because pretty much the the elect are sealed up all right. And, you know, once that's finalized and the Lord is going to unleash even more hell. All right. So let's go to the article. So a rally recently held in Moscow saw attendees and leaders calling for Russia President Vladimir Putin to launch a nuclear strike against Washington, D.C. So why are they why do they want to do that? I thought I thought the war was with Ukraine. All right. And, you know, everybody knows, man, it's not a secret that America is funding Ukraine, you know, they're giving them, you know, millions and millions of dollars, man, because they have interests out there. They have resources out there. You know, they're giving them military equipment, 
you know, they got, they got, you know, the soldiers, the generals tr training their soldiers and shit. All right. So America is the problem. All right. So you could say that, that America is at war with, with Russia as well. Yeah. We're in world war three, man. All right. It's just that missiles haven't started flying yet. Okay. So a clip from the rally was shared to Twitter on Saturday morning by Julius Davis, creator of Russian media monitor and communist for the Daily Beast. In the video, a man can be seen leading a crowd of people through the streets of Moscow and through chants calling for attack on Washington. You know, you also have, you know, I've seen cars, um, you know, an American flag basically tied to their rear bumper and just dragging it, man. You know, so that's how these other countries, particular Russia, feels about you American people out here. You know, the people who are at rest, you know, you don't think anything can happen unto you because... Behind you is the few, the proud, the Marines. You know, you're so, you know, you trust, you trusted in chariots, man, and horses, because there are many, like the scripture says, man, you trust in Babylon. Cursed be he that trusted in men, right? Like the scripture says. So it says, strike the decision making center, the man leading the crowd shouts on Washington, a fight task for the Sarmat missile. That's the Satan, too. On Washington, Sarmat strike the enemy's cities. On Washington, USA is the enemy. We will go to the heavens as martyrs. They will simply croak. The Sarmat missile referred to during the rally is the RS-28 Sarmat intercontinental ballistic missile, the ICBM, a thermal nuclear weapon added to Russia's arsenal in 2018 and nicknamed the Satan II, man. So that's actually the Lord's arsenal. You know, the Lord said he had opened up his armory. You know, let's get that real quick. The Lord's armory. The Satan two missile is a part of the Lord's armory. Hey, Satan works for the Most High. You know, going back to Job the second chapter, man. All right, Satan was in complete order in front of the Lord, man. You know, as far as asking him what to do next. All right, as as far as his servant Job. Okay, so going to Jeremiah fifty and twenty five, Yahweh have opened his armory and have brought forth the weapons of his indignation. So that's what these are. That's what that Satan two missile is. All right, the weapons of the Lord's indignation, his righteous anger. Okay, for this, and the Lord tells you, He's telling you, you know, what it is. For this is the work of the Lord of hosts in the land of the Chaldeans, man. So this is the work of the Lord that's doing this. You see that the modern day Chaldeans would be here in America, man. So this is the work of the Lord. All right. So again, the full story. Um, you could go ahead and click on it. I'll put. The, full, the link to this article in the description box you can take a look at it a little bit further but um before we get more scriptures i wanted to get a video right here you know and, and you see you see there's multiple um videos about this you know and this is how i like mm -hmm. to um um you know research different you know news clips and stuff i like i like to you know bring videos out as well and and, and you know other videos to go with it so you see right here and it's the one i'm gonna play russia warns test of huge satan 2 you got Russian test Sarmat missile that was six months ago. You got five months ago, Putin Ali boasts Russia's 16,000 miles per hour Satan 2. See that, man? So these tensions have been have been tightening, man. Look at this. is five months ago. You know, you know, the whole world forgot about this. You know, you see it's being brought. The Lord is bringing it back up. This is six month, months ago. All right. How far back it goes, right? You know, six months, six months, Satan 2. Five months, seven months, North Korea leader overseas, latest missile tests, right? Yeah, so the tensions have been there. All right, so let's just go ahead and play this one. You know, and that's exactly how it's going to look, you know, when the Lord um, has the four, uh, the angels mm -hmm. go ahead and leash, 
you know, the win, you know, the, the destroying win. All right, so let's go ahead and stop it there. Let's get just another script. Um, let's see, what was it? All right, we're going to go to mm -hmm. Revelations 18. All right, so Revelation 18, and we're just going to jump down to 17. All right, for in one hour so great riches has come to naught. So, again, it's speaking about America, man. You know, going back to Revelation 17, you know, that great whore. You know, let's get it real quick. Revelation 17 and 1, there came one of the seven angels, which had the seven vows and talked with me, saying unto me, come hither, I will show thee. The judgment of the great whore that sit upon many waters. See, those waters are the people. All right. And this is that great whore. They even have a movie coming out, man, um, called Babylon. And, of course, it's, you know, um, the Edomite woman, you know, in the, in the scarlet, you know, red uh, robe. Okay. Two, with whom the kings have committed a fornication. It's like it. With whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication and the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunken. Have been made drunk, it's like it with the wine of her fornication. All right, you see that, man? So let's go down to five. And upon her forehead was a name written Mystery Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots and abomination of the whole earth. You see that? All right. So Revelations 18. Let's go back down. 17 again for in one hour so great riches has come to naught and every shipmaster and all the company and ships and sailors and as many as trade by sea stood afar off and cried when they saw the smoke of her burning saying what city is like unto this great city and you see you know um the video of the missile of the icbm being launched off so just imagine 200 million missiles being launched off man all right and heading their destination is america babylon the great all right Okay, um, 19, and they cast dust on their heads and cried weeping and wailing, saying, Alas, alas, that great city wherein were made rich, all that has ships in the sea by reason of her costliness, for in one hour is she made desolate. 20, rejoice over her, thou heaven, and ye holy apostles and prophets, for the Most High hath avenged you on her. So we're supposed to rejoice, you know, even now, because it's already written. This is the script. You know, it's already written that America is destroyed, man, with nu nuclear fire. All right. We understand the dark sayings and parables. All right. That's telling us that that's what the scriptures are speaking about, man, is nuclear missiles. OK, so rejoice over her, man. These are exciting times that we are in, like Tank said in the Matrix, man. You know, we're watching the Lord avenge us on her. You see that? 21. And a mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone. And cast into the sea, saying, Thus with violence shall that great city Babylon be thrown down, and shall be found no more at all. There you go, man. All right. It's already written. You know, America's faith. Faith is already written. You know, you had um, plenty of omens to show you that. You know, for the man who's spiritual, who has that spiritual eye that the Lord has opened. You know, the blood moons. You know, the different, the different events in the heavens that we have seen. These different omens. All right, the Lord is showing us, man, that this place is basically on its way out. But before the missiles come, all out hell has to break loose, mass chipping. Then the Lord could wipe this place out, man. So with that, I want to say all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Akakodash. Until the next video, Shalom.